Tonight on the pageant cast, we have Angel Batal. She's Ms. Galaxy Canada, and she's going to be telling us all about her pageant tonight on the pageant cast. So make sure you stay tuned. Angel Batal, she's Ms. Galaxy Canada. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Hi, I'm Jennifer Jones, Miss United States 2013, and you are watching the Pageant Cast, the internet's first podcast about beauty pageants. Here's your host, Tim Kretschmann. Hello, everybody out there in the internet. I'm Tim Kretschmann, and you're watching the Pageant Cast. And today we have a very special guest. We have Angel Batal. She's Ms. Galaxy Canada. Hello, Angel. Hi, Tim. Thanks so much for having me. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show. Now, where are we calling you tonight, Angel? You're calling me from Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada. Canada. Well, fantastic. Now, Manitoba, how how long of a drive is that to get to the America border? It's not so far, actually. Probably about, I would say, a couple of hours to get to North Dakota. But um, it's pretty cold up here sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very cold sometimes. But luckily, you have a warm heart, right? So. Absolutely. All right, Angel, let's get right into the pageant stuff. Let's find this out. I call it pageant What are some of the past pageants you've been involved in? Well, there's a lot, actually. I started when I was a teenager. So my very first pageant was Miss Teen Canada Global, and then I did another one as a teen. And then I also competed in Miss World Canada, Miss Earth Canada, and Miss Universe Canada, and also Miss Mrs. Galaxy um, Canada as well, and sorry, Miss Galaxy Canada as well as Miss and Mrs. Canada Galaxy Canada Globe. Okay, wow, that is quite a list. <laughs> so, what got you started in pageants, Angel? You know, when I first started started a pageant when I was a teenager, I don't think I quite really understood why I was doing them. I just thought it was something fun. And it was more so when I got older, I started to realize this is kind of like a hobby for me. People enjoy sports. People enjoy different arts, et cetera. But for me, pageantry was always something that I was really interested in. And I think that I really enjoy just networking with people and making new friends. And I think that I've just met so many amazing, inspiring women throughout the world. And I'm just... I can't help but continue to do them because it's the great, amazing people you meet and all that you can do through charitable work, but also getting involved in the community and building connections. And I think that's really valuable. So I, in Canada, are pageants a big thing or do you really have to seek them out? Well, what's the situation over there? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. And they're actually not as big as they are in the US. However, I think that we're starting to like catch on them and we're starting to grow. We're starting to have a little bit more um, different national competitions in Canada, but, but they're definitely not as big as they are in the US. Okay. Now, are there any publications, any websites that you're following to keep up with pageants? Currently, I mean, obviously I do pageant cast. Yay! <laughs> I, I watched a few pageant casts before I competed for Miss Galaxy, just to kind of see uh, the previous title holders. I believe that um, you had Miss Galaxy Canada from, uh, from sorry, Miss Galaxy prior, the mm -hmm. winner from last year, yep. and uh, she did a phenomenal job. And I also think I, for in terms of resources, I collaborate a lot with previous contestants that I be, like have met and I feel like I learned a lot from them so I mean we don't really have a network of internet resources in Canada yeah. a lot of it is yeah. just really looking for it from the US okay now you did you're done with your competition in Florida it was this year right in August uh, what can you tell us about pageant week what, what can you tell other people so that when they watch this video that they know what, what they're getting themselves into. 
Absolutely. That's a really good question. So the Galaxy system is very fun and there's so many different components to it. So there's five different judging, judging components. So there's photogenic and there's interview, there's swimsuit, there's fashion wear, and there's evening gown. So you really have to be your best in all areas. And I think that in terms of comparing it to other pageants, sometimes pageants mostly just have swimsuit, evening gown, interview, or onstage question, and that's it. The interesting about this pageant was that there was actually no onstage question. And I think that's particularly great for maybe a contestant where they struggle to show their uh, their true personality on stage. And I think that it's a little bit easier sometimes when you're on a panel and you're doing judging one-on-one -on -one in a room or with a selected amount of judges uh, versus being in front of an entire stage. Sometimes people get nervous and they quite can't quite represent the truest form of themselves. So I think that the Galaxy pageant is a little bit different in that sense, that they have that one-on-one -on -one, um, interview with the contestants and panel judges. Well, also, all the competitions are equally valued, right? They're all at exactly the same value. So do you think that, is that a good thing? Or do you think they should give a little more value to some of the competitions? I guess that's, that's interesting. I do, I mean, I think it's, it's a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. And it, I think that if you could find somebody overall who is a high performer in all areas, that is, Excellent. Uh, they do have judging points that are bonus for charitable work and contributions in the community, which I think is phenomenal because even if there was a contestant who did great in all areas, however, did no community service or charitable work, they don't get those bonus points. And there's another contestant who can go above and beyond and contribute to her community. I think that's really shows leadership. And so, I mean, I think that it's, I think it's, it's good. And I think that apparently with any pageant, right, there's always different components for judging. And I think that it's really about finding the right pageant for you. And it doesn't necessarily need to be right or wrong um, how they judge it. So it's really about finding the right pageant for yourself. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Now, have you done a lot of appearances this year as Ms. Galaxy Canada? I mean, you can't go in a convertible because they don't allow them in Canada, right? It's just too cold. <laughs> Nobody would buy well, them. We do have amazing summers, and we are actually having really good weather right now. So I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't say anything too bad about our weather right now. I think it was like 17 degrees the other day, so not complaining. Wait, hold but on, that... 17 degrees. I want our um, our viewers to know she's saying Celsius, okay? Yeah. Because 17 yeah. degrees is actually very chilly in Fahrenheit for our American viewers, just, yeah, just yeah. so they know. Well, I'm in Wisconsin. I'm not that. I'm like six, maybe eight hours south of you in yeah. a drive, I would say about that. And it, I know it, it gets really cold up where you are, but at least I'm not like these uh, folks in Florida and Texas that it, it just gets a little bit of a chill in the air and suddenly they can't function. So I, I feel some of your pain. What? For, for our friends that are in Texas and, and Florida, what's your best cold weather tip? For me? Yeah. The best cold weather trip? I, I, I think it would be to just to really stay bundled up and warm. I, I love to sleep with three duvets and surround myself with a bunch of pillows. Yeah. <laughs> wear my north face winter jacket everywhere it's just you get so hot you don't even realize it's cold outside or I, yeah I, a lot. <laughs> whenever i meet people from like uh texas and they say oh i don't know how you live and i'm like you just have a different wardrobe it's not that difficult yeah. you you just you wear what you need to wear so that you can well frankly survive <laughs> but okay um Tell us what has been your favorite moment in your year as Ms. Galaxy Canada. My favorite moment? Well, I've done a lot of charity work with organizations. I think that being at the Children's Hospital is probably my favorite. Just being able to visit the children with terminal illness. And we actually did a live uh live cast too in the hospital television show so even oh, children cool. that 
too sick to come down to um, the station. Uh, they could watch it from their room in the hospital. But it, it was really nice to just, just to do those one-on-one -on -one visits with the children and to just play with them and to interact with them. And, you know, it's, it's always nice to have a visitor, especially when you've been in the hospital. And it's just it brightens up the day and it just feels real good just to see that. Okay. Now we're going to go to the Galaxy Pageants webpage here. This is uh, Galaxy Pageants. Is this the best place to find out about Canada Galaxy, or is there another website that people should check out? You know what? I would say that the actual Facebook group is probably updated a little bit more than the website. I mm -hmm. think those, um, um, those aren't the newest current winners, but they do right. update the Facebook um, page quite regularly. Fantastic. Well, everybody will check that out and we'll have links to everything Galaxy related in the show notes. Uh, but it is, it, now I will tell people, don't don't turn on galaxypageants.com at work. It plays music the second you turn it on. And it's very embarrassing when your boss sees you looking at pageant websites when you're supposed to be working on construction. Just just something, a, a little tip for everybody out there. Now, something we like to do at the end of our episodes, and this is the end of our first episode with you, Angel, is I like to see your best pageant wave. Now, I need you to back up a little bit so we can see the whole wave. Okay, uh, okay, good. You're still in focus. That's good. Now, okay. I need to see... You are, I'll set the scene. You're on the back of a convertible, uh, somewhere warmer, and uh, you are doing your parade wave. Let's see it. Let's see the wave. Wait, how much energy, this is it? This is all the energy everybody gets. Oh, and there's a rolling of <laughs> eyes. So the pageant wave consists of a rolling of the eyes and the slightest <laughs> shaking... I, you're shaking like you have a, a condition or something there. I, you, you need to work on this. We, we need people. I, I, I want uh, people to name her wave so that we have a name for that type of wave. Cause that, that was, there was very little effort being put in. But I do okay. think you can make it like five miles with that one. I'll say that. So, all right. Let's, let's see it again. I, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna say the smile does it for me. The, the, I'm not even looking at the wave. You have a beautiful <laughs> smile. Aww, thank All you. right. Well, we're at the end of the show, and of course, we say Tierra dreams at the end of the show. Uh, I like to thank everybody for tuning in tonight, and uh, for the live folks, we'll have more in just a moment. But uh, let's say Tierra dreams together, Angel. Tierra, okay, Tierra Tierra Dreams. Tierra Dreams. I'm Amy Gregorio, Mrs. International 2013, and I challenge you to be the voice for a child who needs someone to speak up for their rights. I'm ACASA, a court-appointed special advocate for abused and neglected children who desperately need all of us. I urge you to take your time, do some research, Find us at casaforchildren.org and step up and stand up for these children.